So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an in-stream ad on YouTube. And an in-stream ad, for anyone who doesn't know, is basically one of those ads that pops up um, before a video. So like this one here is one of our ads. Um, this is popping up before a Tony Robbins video I searched for. And um, I know that because I'm actually targeting Tony Robbins as the keyword. And uh, yeah, it's one of those ads that you can skip after five seconds. And the really cool thing is, about these type of ads is that you only pay if someone watches 30 seconds or more and um, that's pretty powerful so you only get interested people who look at your ads and you only pay for the views of interested people so I'm going to show you how to actually set one up with Google AdWords so I'm going to assume you've got an AdWords account and um, this is probably what it's going to look like when you click on campaigns it's a simple matter of just clicking over to campaign on the red tab clicking on video waiting for that to load cool all right so up here you want to call your campaign whatever whatever it is you want I'm gonna call this test campaign but naturally what we do we call our campaigns based on whatever idea we're selling or um, what keyword we're going after so um, for example if, if I wanted to go after the business after the keyword start a business because I'm advertising uh, some informational products that will help people start and grow businesses um, then I'll just put start a business in stream uh, the type you're gonna leave it on video um, you can if you've created um, some other campaigns you can just load up a uh, an existing campaign which will save you the time and effort but let's assume this is your first um, in-stream ad so you want to make sure that you click in-stream um, and it says there or video discovery you can choose video discoveries are basically the other type of ads that we can post but um, you choose that later on um, with bidding you want to leave it as, as, as it is your budget will be how much you want to spend per day in this video ad so let's put um, 10 bucks delivery method you can just leave that on standard for now. Um, if it doesn't spend, I, I usually put them on accelerated. If you want to spend money like ourselves, we usually just leave it on accelerated just to see if there's traffic in the targeting options we're going for. I'm going to leave it on standard for now. Um, the net, but if you're starting out, definitely leave it on standard. And if it doesn't spend, put it on accelerated. Um, with networks, now in stream ads, you only want to have YouTube videos selected. Here it says video partners on display network. That is simply other websites. Like uh, um, if you if someone's visiting another website, you can literally show up in stream on any type of video they've, they've got there that's not YouTube. So um, it's pretty powerful, but at the same time, you can waste a lot of money on, on that option there when you first start out. So I don't recommend you put it there. Um, locations, so basically what, what does your product serve? What countries does it serve? Where's your major target audience? If you're a local business, you'd, you'd go for um, you know your local area. You can literally put postcodes in here and, and cities and suburbs. But um, our, what I'm selling here is a global product, so I'll usually tend to go for the top five countries, Australia, uh, United States, Canada, uh, New Zealand, and what's the other one? Uh, mine has gone blank. Um, <laughs> New Zealand, Canada, Australia. What's the other top five? New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom. United Kingdom. <laughs> wow brain fade anyway um, what language do your customers speak always leave that on English don't have all languages especially if your product isn't in English and that way you'll get the right audience um, advanced mobile and tablet options I tend to decrease my mobile adjustments by 100% especially if I'm just doing a campaign targeting at desktops and also decrease my tablets by 100% you can test those ones out later once you've got a bit more experience um, but I recommend when you first start out you just go for uh, the desktop now if you go to advanced settings you don't want to change any of these if you want to just you know, start advertising immediately and ad scheduling I usually leave it on you know show all ads that on days and hours and you can edit the ad schedule later once you start looking at your, at your stats and see when you get your best conversions 
Uh, at delivery, I will probably set my impression cap to maybe five views a day so we don't annoy people. Um, and then content exclusions, I usually leave it as standard and we just click save and continue. Cool. Now when we get to this one, also I just call my ad group based on you know what, what keyword I'm going after and, and in this case I'm going for start a business. Um, okay, so your YouTube video ad. So hopefully you've got this uploaded on YouTube somewhere. I'm going to select one of our videos as the lifestyle team, see if I can quickly find it. So this is one of the videos that we advertise. This is my partner, Mary Lee, and Chris's partner, Sandrine. We'll just get that video link and chuck it in there. Now for in-stream ads, make sure you select in-stream ad and your display URL will be your website. So, um, so we, our website's the Laptop Entrepreneurs. So we send people to this page here called Video Series. All right, so we get that link, put it in the final URL, and then you click up here and the automatic display URL will show. So that will show on YouTube as in the bottom left hand corner as visit laptopentrepreneurs.com and that will send your traffic to that page. Um, ad name, I usually don't usually tinker with that. You can name it whatever you like. And this companion banner here is what you want to show up beside your videos. Um, you can create one yourself, but if you're just getting started, YouTube will automatically generate something for you based on the videos you've got on your channel. Um, Maximum bid, it actually gives you some advice here. It says between eight cents and 25 cents to bid. Um, and I found for in-stream ads, it's good to start your bids around 25 cents. And in, in American dollars, that's about 20 cents. And this predicts how much I'm gonna spend on my budget, which is pretty cool. It says I'll get 100, between 100 and 200 views, an average of eight cents a view based on that bid that I've put there. Um, I can raise my budget and that will change. Um, but you can also look at weekly stats as well, which is pretty cool. I don't usually put anything here for popular video address adjustments. Now, when we come down to demographics, um, where's what's your target audience? What are you advertising? So, um, for me, uh, I found my best customers are between 25 and 64. I leave unknown on because there's a lot of traffic there. I also leave all these on just to gather some data and. This one's new household income. Um, the products I sell are um, uh, high ticket clients, so I probably get rid of the lower stuff. Um, but yeah, you can play around with that. You got to really target. You know, look at your product and look at you know what is your target audience. Now, if you basically you have so many options here, I'm, I'm going after a keyword start a business, and I can just go add. And the really cool thing is that if I wanted to. I can add, I can actually find related keywords and there's all this cool stuff and anything related to my product I can put in there, how to start a business, um, how to start your own business, I can actually go in there and I can even bulk out them all and just get rid of the ones I want. But for now, I'm just going to go after one keyword because I've been very successful just going after a keyword. Um, I'll delete them all and just go start a business. Get it done. Now, that's for keyword targeting. You can also go after specific videos. If you know what videos that your customers are watching, do placements. Um, remarketing is if you've already got ads up, you can start remarketing people. And topics is another big one I can cover in another video. Um, you can basically um, type a topic in, like say, uh, see if I can put start a business. See what comes up. See all this stuff. You you can like put in put into um, into some targeting, and and you can um, get lots of traffic who would like or be interested in your in your product. But for now, I'm just going to go after a keyword. Click Save Ad Group. Cool, and that ad will go into review, and we're done. Um, so thanks for coming to check out this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, share this with anyone 
who may be interested in advertising their business with video ads in stream. In the next video, I'll show you how to shoot a in discovery ad, which is also a very powerful form of advertising. So thanks for coming, check out this video and uh, speak to you soon.